Are you procrastinating on your novel? If you're not sure, ask yourself this question. Have I worked on my novel in the last week? If your answer is no, you're likely procrastinating. In this video, I'll show you three reasons why that may be, and most likely, they're not the reasons you think. Reason number one, you're stuck and you're not getting help. Maybe you're stuck and you thought, okay, I'll figure this out. I'll just walk away from it for a while and it'll come to me what I need to do. And the next day when you thought about writing, you're thinking, oh, there's that stuck place and I don't know how to fix it yet. So I'll give it another day. Okay, go back to your craft books, contact a writing coach or a mentor if you have one. One of the things that has really helped me as a writer when I get stuck like that is to go back to story structure. Do you have an inciting incident? Do you have rising action? Do you have all those things that make a story work. Another thing to ask yourself is, am I remembering what my characters want most of all in this world? Get some help, read some books, read some blog posts, do something to jiggle that problem loose in your mind so you can get back to writing. If you're procrastinating, it's likely because you're criticizing. You're saying, oh, this story's just not going very well. This story's not very good. I know it's not very good. I know it's not gonna sell. I know people aren't gonna like it. You're putting way too many expectations on this poor little story of yours. Now, this is really easy for us writers to do for many reasons. And there's one particular that's probably bothering you right now that I'm gonna tell you here in just a minute. If you're criticizing, you're going to bring your momentum to a halt. There's probably things that are wrong with this story. I have never drafted a story that there weren't many, many, many things wrong with it. The the good news is that you can go back and fix those things, but you need to keep going to get this story finished. So it's okay, make a little note. This doesn't feel right, this isn't working right. Then go on from there and finish the story. Third reason you may be procrastinating on your story. You think you have endless time to finish it. And there's a second part to this. You may also be what we call a present time personality. And I'll explain that here in a second. First part of it, you think you have all kinds of time. We all do, right? We think we have endless time. I'll work on it tomorrow. I'll work on it tomorrow. I'll work on it tomorrow. What we need to remember is it takes a long time to build a writing career. It takes multiple books to build a writing career. You don't have oodles of time if what you want is to build up a reader and have your books sell eventually, okay? Now, if you're just doing this thing for fun or on the side or whatever, then maybe you don't have as much of a time crunch. But if you are a writer who wants to sell books, you can't afford to keep saying tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. The second part of this is, if you're someone who normally says, I'll do it tomorrow, and maybe you do that in other areas of your life, I would hazard a guess that you are what we call a present time personality. I have another video that talks about the time personalities, and I'll put a link to that in the notes. There are different time personalities and in general they are past present and future if you are present motivated that means you live in the moment and so that's why it can be really hard for you when it comes time to sit down and write if your you know inner child is saying actually what I want to go do is binge watch Netflix or I want to go play a game of soccer or whatever you're gonna choose that over writing because you're present oriented you're not thinking about tomorrow scientists have found that people who are present oriented who test for present time personality have difficulty relating to their future selves present people kind of tend to build up their future selves as this superhero type person that's going to be so much more capable of handling these things that they're not handling today. If you think you may be a present time personality, I invite you to go check that video out and then to try to bring that future self closer to you, to realize that who you will be tomorrow or next week is not all that different from who you are today and that that person is probably going to be disappointed that you didn't get your writing in today. So you may be a present oriented person or you may be just deluding yourself that you have lots of time to get this story done when that's not really the truth. What all these reasons have in common is one thing, and that's fear. <coughs> Many times we procrastinate on our writing because we're afraid. We're afraid of lots of things, like it's not good enough, it's not gonna sell, readers aren't gonna like it, agents or editors aren't gonna like it, we're gonna get bad reviews. All these fears come into play and fear often makes us procrastinate because we think about writing and here come all these fears again and that doesn't seem like a very pleasant experience to sit down with fear and try to write this story. What we need to do at that point is realize that fear is behind every one of these things and we gotta take it easy 
easier on ourselves. We've got to cut ourselves a break. Let's just enjoy writing the story. Let's just focus on the now. And here's where you could bring your present personality in if you have one and say, you know what? I'm just going to, for the next 10 minutes, enjoy working on this story. Enjoy solving the problem if there is one, you know. Try to put all those other fears and worries aside. Tell yourself, you know what? I can worry about that when the story is done. Because that's what we're trying to do here is finish the story. I'm also going to refer you to my other video on finishing your book. So you can find that in the notes as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you know the next time I have a video come out. Meanwhile, no more procrastinating. Go sit down and write.